Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm at Wise Media's sixth EMEA Summit here in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Olivier Clouse from Talis. Olivier, thank you for joining me. You're presenting in the early session this morning, so you're going to be in there in a few minutes. Yeah. Tell me briefly what you're going to be talking about and what's the um, what's so the, the conclusion of your, your presentation <laughs> this morning? Let's cut to the chase. Uh, the conclusion is that uh, smart cities are are expanding now uh, that we are we are facing a lot of challenges in urban environment today mm -hmm. and uh, cities are getting smarter and smarter at least uh, Thales is, is trying to promote this uh, approach of integrating security and and uh, transport systems to provide okay smart uh, services to citizens and uh, municipalities. Okay, and interesting two dynamics at play there. One, huge continued urbanization. So cities are getting bigger, more complex, yeah. more demanding. Uh, there was a really interesting presentation yesterday by a Kenyan gentleman where he was showing photos of favelas right next to apartment blocks yes, and pools. Yes, so yeah. Some interesting dynamics at play there. And the other one is obviously the, the smart side of it. We're, we're, we're using the word smart in smart government, other contexts. Yes. How do you manage all those challenges? It must be changing incredibly it is, fast. Uh, yeah, it is uh, obviously a very difficult challenge because uh, a city is a very complex system mm. with everything is, uh, is linked together. Uh, urbanism is, uh, is the key uh, usually. Uh, as you said, uh, when you put uh, uh, favelas next to uh, uh, very nice uh, buildings, so you may create some uh, uh, security issues. Mm. So there is a, a need to better integrate the uh, security systems of the uh, of the city, and that's what we promote in order to help uh, uh, the the security agencies, the the police, to and the fire brigades, the ambulances, to better react to any kind of uh, of incident. And also we use, in fact, the, uh, all the data collected by the security systems to uh, plan uh, the development of the city, so mm. to avoid this kind of, uh, yeah. of, uh, of situation. So. Yeah, and integration must be really important to not just integrate security systems, but also mass transportation, yes, medical, yes, yeah. all those other systems. Does that mean you have to build um, a very modular, very open system that allows yes, you to... Yes, so that? usually, obviously, there are legacy systems, uh, so mm. you cannot come and say, I want to make it a, uh, to make this city a smart city, so I'm going to replace everything. No, you have to adapt and to uh, integrate those uh, legacy systems. Mm. Uh, so what we're trying to do is to uh, integrate them by uh, uh, asking those systems to provide some data, like a transport system would provide any incident on mm. the network, also the, the geolocation of buses, trams, and so on, in order to provide services like uh, uh, you know, a trip planner uh, to, to find the shortest or the fastest way to go to a certain destination mm. using metro, buses, uh, trams, taxis, and your car. Uh, and so you need uh, to, to provide this kind of service to integrate all these uh, transportation systems that in most cities today are managed in a very silo kind of, yeah. uh, of way. And it's the same basically for security. You have uh, the police, the fire brigade, the uh, civil protection, and all these agencies, usually they work in a quite a silo way. So we are mm. trying here again to provide a platform to help them integrate the, their data and their services for, for more efficiency. Yeah, and you, you talk about respecting the, um, the systems that, that, are, that are there from the past yeah. and uh, obviously planning for the future as well, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is very difficult to do because things are changing so fast. <coughs> we're, we're in uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, a city that's, that's grown really fast, yes. but it's, it's, it's kind of a new city, so it has perhaps opportunity to get yes. certain things right first time. Do you see a lot of regional variation in, in the demands of, of smart cities? Uh, yeah, well, definitely. Here in uh, Abu Dhabi, it's an interesting case. Now, when uh, I travel around the world, mm. I'm always looking at which type of development is this uh, mm. city. So Abu Dhabi is the, uh, for trans if you take the transport example, it's the good example where everything has been built around the car. Mm. And that's usu usually for a new city, uh, people, they they build city around car and the car is the king uh, of the city. There is basically no uh, mass transportation in Abu Dhabi today, but for sure it will come in the coming uh, years yeah. because uh, more and more there is more cars, so, yeah. so traffic jams, pollutions and so on. So now you st uh, so they will uh, 
uh, very probably uh, in two or three years uh, start to build a, a metro and trams and mm. uh, and then uh, they will have the need uh, five years after to integrate the system better to uh, for more uh, uh, for uh, improved mobility for citizens yeah. and so it's always the same story in uh, mm. in cities basically you start by the for transport uh, you start by cars then mass transportation and and then integration of all those uh, transports yeah. yeah. um, some cities some new cities they are thinking at the beginning mm. uh, to integrate all the systems together but uh, it's uh, now it's starting because of this uh, concept of a smart city but it's uh, it's quite new right? even yeah. in Abu Dhabi it's not still the case so we uh, we, we think there is uh, obviously a lot of opportunity and uh, yeah. a very interesting market here obviously yeah. to, to promote this concept yeah and it's it, you know it's true elsewhere for example in uh, in China mass transportation yeah. is, a, is a huge opportunity for European, yes. European. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I was well. in, I was in China a couple of weeks ago also, and yeah, there is incredible projects there. Yeah. But uh, China now is uh, is at the the forefront of uh, of uh, smart city. They are very interesting in the concept, mm. and they are making it uh, real. Uh, yeah. I was in uh, in Beijing uh, where they have uh, developed a brand new. Uh, uh, transport control center of the city, integrating all the metro lines and uh, providing very accurate uh, yeah. uh, uh, monitoring of the of the transport in the city. Uh, and they want to invest in more uh, inter uh, intermodal uh, mobility between the different uh, ways of transport. So it's uh, yes, China is definitely one of the country yeah. which is pushing the the, the hardest for the, uh, yeah. the smart city. Yeah, and they tend to be a um, a nation that 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 is able to plan, is able to be very focused, obviously their uh, political system uh, yeah. assists them in that way, but there's, there's, there's a clear investment strategy with the high-speed trains. Yes, and, yes, and so, uh, well, like China, China obviously they plan everything, so mm. there is clear plans for yeah. smart cities in, uh, in cities, in many cities. Uh, that's the difference maybe with other uh, countries where it's, uh, the economy is not as planned as, it, as yeah. it is in, in China. So things are getting from, from the bottom is, instead of coming from the top. Yeah. And we think citizens in fact are also uh, are, are pushing for this, uh, for asking for new services mm. on their smartphones to, to get access to, uh, uh, to uh, more efficiency for their yeah. travels or for their security. Yeah, I think the citizen's role becomes more and more important yes. here. And, and the citizens want an integrated system yes. where they can maybe select a different mode of transport for a different journey. I know yeah, yeah. In, in London where I live, it's, you know, some journeys it's appropriate to take the metro, but other times it, it actually takes longer yes. using that route. So, so and here are smartphones, uh, they play a key role for, uh, to, 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 to find the, the fastest way to go to your mm. destination, but also for, uh, to replace ticketing systems by using your smartphone as an ID yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, transport card, in yeah. fact, to, to, to go smoothly from one transport means to another one. Ticketing is key also uh, for uh, this uh, mobility yeah. uh, uh, across all uh, mod modes of, yeah. tran of transport in the city. Yeah. Okay, well, Olivia, thank you very much for your time. I'm sure we're going to be talking about this again and again because yeah. it's a rapidly developing Absolutely. Um, project. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time and enjoy your presentation. Thank you. Thank you.